All right, consider this a uh, quick update on my progress for getting in shape. Um, let's see. I believe last time I set my goals as um, like increasing my squat and my deadlift and um, as learning the uh, power clean. Um, let's see. First thing I've gotten the least far on is learning the power clean, which is really tricky. Um, specifically, like the part where you switch from having the bar going up and then racking on the shoulders. Doing that without actually like pulling the bar up with your arms is really hard, and um, I haven't gotten the hang of it yet. I'm going to work out in a few minutes, and I'm going to be practicing that again today. Um. Anyway, I missed one workout day on Halloween, which I kind of felt bad about, but I'm still making good progress. On Tuesday, I went to the gym and did squats, bench presses, and deadlifts, and I lifted 145 pounds on each of these exercises. Um, I was pushing it a little too hard on the bench press. Um, I actually only lifted that much of the bench press by accident because I'm stupid and I forgot that the clamps that you put on the sides actually are weigh 10 pounds between the two of them. So I thought I was lifting 90 pounds and I was lifting 100 pounds. But I managed to do it. Um, this time though I was doing um, sets of three reps because I'm sick right now and um, Hopefully that won't inter oh, screw me up too much. I won't injure myself or anything because I've taken four aspirin to do. I have three fingers. Four, 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 four ibuprofen specifically um, to deal with the horrible headache I've got. But um, from what I've read, basically with the um, symptoms that symptoms I have, it shouldn't be dangerous for me to work out or anything, and it can in fact be beneficial to my workouts. So today I will be going to the gym to do squats and overhead presses and practice the power clean. Um, my gym has the greatest facilities for practicing it actually. It's been kind of a pain because um, I have to do it without weight on the bar and I can't do it from the deadlifting equipment because I have to put weight on the bar first so it's going to be a little while before I actually get that. Anyway, um, this is supposed to be a quick update and if I'm not careful this is going to end up as one of my you know nine minute videos that happen when I babble on and on and on. But anyway, so I've actually added, um, last, last, my last workout, I added from my previous workout 20 pounds onto my squat, and um, 100 pounds on the squat did not feel that hard, really. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, and uh, from my bench press, I added 10 pounds. Um, next time I bench press, I'm probably going to knock it down by 5 so I don't drop the bar on myself or something. Make, so I'll be uh, having 95 pounds on the bar. Um, and when I say 95 pounds on the bar, that's the amount of weight I'm putting on the bar. The bar itself weighs 45 pounds. When determining how much weight you're lifting, you do count the bar. It's just that the way I note it down when I write it in my notebook is like I say, you know, bench press 100 pounds, meaning I, had, I put 100 pounds of weight on the bar, two to 250s. Um, so I moved up to 100 pounds on my squat, and... Um, 100 pounds on my deadlift, and I think at least next week my squat and deadlift will be going up because I have not reached the point of extreme difficulty. Yet. I'm, I think I'm still challenging myself, but I believe that because I kind of held myself back for a while because I'm a worrying, paranoid kind of guy, and I don't have anyone to spot me, so um, I haven't been increasing my weights as fast as I could have been, um, and I've been like shoveling down more protein than usual then I think that's helping um, although I need to buy more now because I'm running out anyway um, I don't know if there's anything else important I could actually throw in to my videos a status update as to what I'm doing um hmm let's see I was hanging upside down in the jungle gym and found that I, and actually by um, pulling, lift pulling myself up so I could grab the bars again because I was hanging by my legs so that I could flip down, um, I did it twice and it made my hip flexors incredibly sore. So I've been thinking I should probably do some leg lifts at home on my off days to get my hip flexors in shape because they seem to be kind of weak. Um, also I've been doing, um, 
kind of sporadic um, medicine ball workouts, which is not good. Workouts, working out is bad because working out means you're occasionally doing something, whereas training is what I'm doing with the barbells. I'm training. Training is different. It's very well described on bodybuilding.com and a couple threads. Um, training is when you're working towards specific goals, you know, with purpose. Working out is when you're like, yeah, why don't I just you know, I'll go throw in some crunches, maybe do a tricep dip because it'll make me stronger somehow. Training is where you're like, well, I want to be able to bench press one time my own, one times my own body weight. And mostly, I'm actually most interested in my progress on squats. And once I learn to do them at all, power cleans, and you know, then deadlifts, and then bench presses. They're like my fifth most important exercises because squat is squat. Doing a squat is your leg power mostly. Um, although, you know, it uses a lot of muscles in your body, including most of your core and your posterior chain, etc., etc. Um, but it's mostly leg strength, and um, what I'm most interested in is in gymnastics, and I'm not currently doing gymnastics, which kind of sucks, but basically I'm working on getting in shape with weightlifting, and I want to get in really good shape with weightlifting by the end of the fall and winter, and this spring, before, you know, I get into doing all sorts of shit for the summer, to do several months of gymnastics training, and I want to really be able to get a lot out of my gymnastics training, and that means that I need to have a really good squat and a really good power clean, because power cleans are the best exercise for increasing explosive strength, which is the most important for gymnastics. Now, if I build a lot of strength doing the squat, and then I go and do gymnastics, gymnastics itself is a plyometric, explosive um, activity in sport. And so um, doing gymnastics and tricking and sports like that can help train your body to have better explosive muscle strength. Your, it can help train your central nervous system to recruit um, muscle fibers more quickly. Um, I'm, this is, I'm kind of on shaky ground as to knowing what I'm talking about here. But basically, doing explosive movements like that makes you better at doing explosive movements. But, you know, if you don't do the strength training also, then your strength isn't there to use explosively in the first place. So, anyway, that's the point of that. And I also think I need to do more regular workouts with medicine balls after I do my weight training for my abs, mostly, so that I can, um, because abs are very important for gymnastics, mostly in any kind of rotation where you... Um, rotate uh, vertically, you know, like backflip, your ab muscles are very heavily used in that to flip you over, and um, they're also used for balance, highly, you know, handstand stuff like that, as well as keeping your posture and keeping the, um, what's it called, hollow body um, when doing round offs and uh, back handsprings and things like that. Um, I'm at eight minutes now. Uh, if you actually man, if you actually watched this far into my video, I'm surprised. I mean, I've been, I haven't even been throwing in random jokes or anything. So that's pretty cool of you, and um, congratulations. You have a pretty awesome attention span too. Um, only about the first two minutes were really important, so I don't really mind if people quit after that point. Anyway, um, to finish up. I think, feel like I should give out some tips because people actually made comments in my response to Phil's video that handing out tips like those repeatedly even is actually kind of helpful. Um, most important tip is that you can't think of working out as, you know, I don't know, something extra you're going to do for a little while. It's training to go, like I said about training, it's training to get you to a specific goal and to keep you there. And, hmm, it's more like a lifestyle change than I'm going to do some crunches and suddenly get in great shape. Um, and, you know, just take some time to learn about what you're doing and why you need to do what. So if someone tells you, um, well, you should be doing five sets of three reps of bench presses when you're sick with a... Um, like a head cold, like fever, maybe a little coughing or a sore throat, but it's not infecting your breathing. And um, do when you should do. And when someone says you should do exercises in that way, knowing why is important. Um, yeah. So it's important to know those things yourself, so you can make your own decisions instead of just following other people's advice. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.